What is up YouTube? Carlo here. Welcome to the vlog. This is the channel where we talk about sneakers and tech. And one of the questions that I get asked the most on the comment section is why I don't review and unbox Nike Air Force One. So the reality is I never got around to buying and owning one in my entire 36 years <laughs> in life. So today is going to be a special day because today we're going to unbox my first ever Air Force One from Nike. Now, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure that you do so because we are giving away 10 sneaker care kits courtesy of Crep Protect Philippines. Each care kit will have a Crep spray, which will protect your sneakers from stain and rain, and a Crep pill, which will, will make sure that your sneakers stay fresh and dehumidified. So 10 winners, subscribe now, follow me on IG, hit the link down below for the rest of the mechanics. Before we get to the unboxing, let me just share with you the shopping trip. So I started things off by going over to Nike. Nike over at Greenbelt 3. So the Nike store there is very nice. Lots of sneakers, lots of cool picks to, to choose from. But there wasn't really a good selection of Air Force Ones. So, <laughs> so it was a not so nice trip. Well, in relative to what I was looking for. But I did find a lot of the new colorways of the EXP-X14, Experience X14. That is one severely underrated sneaker i mean if you guys are looking for a comfortable everyday stylish lifestyle sneaker you guys have to check it out the upper is semi-translucent uh, the colorways are very sick the react foam in the midsole is so comfortable especially at the back it's a bit hard at the front but the back especially the heel support is fantastic and the price point it sells for just 6200 something pesos unbeatable it's a really 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 great sneaker and underrated sneaker if you ask me there are a lot of colorways uh the one that i have is the one with orange and vault so i picked that one up the moment it dropped and it was released i'll put a link down below just in case you guys haven't seen my review yet there's a new all black one actually actually i think that came out a few weeks ago or a month ago but it looks really sick it's an all black with gray i mean so nice and then there's an all white version as well as uh, almost vault version so yeah there are three really nice four colorways to pick from if you guys are in the market for an everyday casual sneaker for the ladies there's even a rose gold slash pink kind of colorway that that you might find interesting and you know nice so again guys a really cool lifestyle sneaker everyday lifestyle sneaker the nike exp x14 severely underrated in my book now after going to uh Nike over at Greenbelt 3, we went all the way to Seoul Academy and BGC. Now in Seoul Academy, the first store that uh, the, the first sneaker that I picked up was the next um, colorway of the Nike Air Max Deluxe. As you guys know, I'm a huge fan of the Deluxe uh, sneaker from Nike. I actually own the two previous releases. The first one was the ocean blue kind of color and the second one was like the laser orange. Now the sneaker is inspired by the rave culture in the 90s and that's why the colorways are kind of uh, whack <laughs> kind of crazy uh, on your feet now the new colorway is a bit darker there's a it's a midnight navy kind of majority upper then there are still the streaks of light playing around the shoe now I was really thinking of getting it I was really thinking of copying it but I saw that all the Air Max Deluxes were just sitting there anyway. So there was no immediate rush. There was no immediate urgency to pick it up. Especially since the colorway for me was not something that I found super, super interesting. And it wasn't something that appealed to me like 100% like the previous two ones. So yeah, I passed on that one first. But, but... I did end up copying one sneaker uh, prior to the Air Force One and I'll show you to you guys. This is from Adidas and I actually featured this already. Well, not featured. I showed it to you in, a, in one of the previous sneaker shopping video. This is the Crazy Boost You Wear 2. So as you guys see, there, there's the tag over there. This one sells for 8,000 pesos and this is OMG. This looks like the sneakers of Baymax. So... <laughs> I mean, look at that generous... Wait, let me turn down the light so you guys can see it better. Look at that generous glob of boost here at the bottom and that thick part over here that I have no idea what it is. So, <laughs> I, whoo, it just looks so much fun. It looks so much cute. There's suede, there's mesh, there's like some sort of knit material. You have accents of white, black. The three stripes at the back look really sick. I mean, it was just a sneaker that was made for the fun side of me. So yeah, I ended up copying it. This is the crazy boost you wear. 
two for 8,000 pesos. I, well, I think I'm going to wear this today uh, just because it's so much fun. Yeah, and I expect the full review on this one uh, in the coming days ahead, guys. So yeah, watch out for that one. Now let's go on to the main event of this video. So I mentioned that I was looking for a new pair or at least a, my first ever Nike Air Force Ones. Now there were three selections because they actually just dropped a new pack which consisted of three colorways of the Nike Air Force One. One is in your more classic black colorway. It's a black with the white and some sort of icy outsole. There's a baby blue colorway, which reminds me a lot of the UNC colors of Michael Jordan. And there was a, like, kind of like a cream off-white version, uh, much more cleaner. Actually, it's more gray than it is off-white uh, colorway of the Air Force One. So there, those three pairs of kicks were just sitting on the counter newly released newly dropped for that day yesterday so i made my way over there and checked each one now among the three the most striking the most vibrant the most attention grabbing is definitely the light baby blue colorway i mean it is a, an attention grabber it is a net breaker it is a pair that will really just turn heads so the easiest to wear is obviously the black pair because i mean it's black you can't go wrong with black so <laughs> so it's just black and white and a cool outsole. So that one, again, uh, the, uh, it really intrigued me because I, I was thinking, again, in my head all throughout this was running the debate on the classic versus the hype. By the way, if you guys haven't watched that vlog yet, I uploaded it earlier this morning. So hit the link down below so you can watch it if, in case you haven't seen it yet. Hype versus classics. Now, as I was saying, that was the black one. And lastly, there was the gray slash off-white colorway. Uh, I was honestly torn between the baby blue and the black. And I knew that I already had a lot, a lot of black shoes. So I was actually heavily leaning towards picking up the baby blue light blue sneaker. But for some reason, I was just compelled to pick up the black one because I knew that I could use and abuse it. This could be like my everyday new beater. This could be like what, what and what, what are Air Force One meant, meant to be anyway. They're meant to be everyday beaters. So I picked up the black one. Now to those who don't know, the sneaker it actually came out in 1982 designed by Bruce Kilgore. Now I'll do a more comprehensive take on the history when I do the actual full review of this pair, uh, but it did come out in 1982. It was discontinued in 1984 and one of the most special things about the Air Force One is that it was one of the first ever sneakers by Nike that had so much demand, that had so much public outcry that it was re-released. So I think this is one of the first few ever sneakers that was retroed. Uh, ever. So again, Nike Air Force One. So let's take a look at what's inside the box and, you know, just try it out. If you pop the box open, yeah, it's your typical paper. And then, woo, there you have it. So let me just put the sneakers out. By the way, there's nothing special in the packaging. It's just really the shoes. So here you have it. This is my first pair of Nike Air Force Ones. Now, it's definitely a classic silhouette. It's something that will forever be in style. Come on, guys. It came out in 1982 and it's still relevant today. I don't think a lot of the sneakers that have been coming out lately will be relevant 10 years from now. It's a clear... A distinction between style and fashion where in fashion is just trend and style is actually timeless but anyway so this is timeless this is the air force one i, I picked the one in the dominantly black upper and then you have that white midsole and some sort of icy uh, outsole that you have here at the bottom now some of the things that are worth noting for me uh, I just love how simple and classic it looks and how comfortable it is to wear. I actually tried it on while I was in the shop. So I will be wearing this over the next few days. So watch out for my reviews of both the Adidas Boost You Wear 2 as well as the Nike Air Force One Retro Low Canvas. Now just to share, this will also be the first ever pair of sneakers that I will, I will try to have customized. So I'm thinking of... I don't know if they can figure this out. I want to she. Uh, I want to take out this part, the one that says air, and I want the customizer to just put seven to one, uh, which is again, you know, what you guys to those who've been following this vlog, the the philosophy that I've been following for the longest time, and I want to replace the the statement here it says af1 in this black plate i wanted this to say seven and then i want this to say one so i will be doing a vlog on the journey of trying to customize this pair over the next few weeks and hopefully i can show you guys the finished product when it's ready for those wondering the air force one low canvas retro sells for over 6700 pesos so it's definitely pricey for an Air Force One. And that was one of the reasons why I was a bit hesitant in copying one because I already saw a lot of Air Force Ones over at outlet stores that were selling for like 4,000 and below. Uh, but the simplicity of this black colorway really just got to me 
and I knew that I could actually just wait it out and probably get it later on at a, at a better price uh, but I really wanted to cop an Air Force One now because there's just so many comments down there asking me why don't you review an Air Force One uh, here you go now before we end I just want to say thank you to everybody who pre-ordered and ordered the 7 to 1 Build Your Dreams shirt uh, it actually sold out after 24 hours so we sold out the first batch i'm currently working with uh, above the ankle to see if we can do a second batch soon uh, but as the moment we get paid for the order we will write out the check and we will be giving it to real life foundation as promised i'll capture it in video and again thank you very much to everybody who supported the project and that's it for this vlog i hope you guys enjoyed please do make sure that you hit that subscribe button make sure that you follow me on ig peace god bless Woo!